I'm Billy. Ma, I'd never say who my father was, so I don't got no last name. She gave me this medallion before I could talk. It's engraved with a candlestick, so that's what the kids call me. Candle. Eat spick or pepper gut. Yeah, my ma's from Mexico. The town I grew up in is just over the border, and the folks there are mostly white. Like my stepfather, Thomas. A big, mean son of a bitch who just as soon backhand me as look at me. I grew up in a town called Hope. Pretty much the most hopeless place I've ever seen. It's full of drunks and drifters and thieves and liars. And those are the leading citizens. Like my dear stepfather, who knocked the tar out of me at least once a day, rain or shine. He said he was teaching me how to be a man, but all he taught me is how to take a beating. Last time he laid a hand on me was over two years ago. I took off and didn't look back. Left to find my fortune. <laughs> Legendary Colt of Juarez. Wanted to prove to that SOB that I could be more than he ever was. The world's a hard place. I didn't find squat. Did meet a girl, though. Molly. Damn, she was pretty. It didn't work out, though. Her dad saw to that. So now I'm back. Hungry. Broke. I don't have nothing. Not even a last name. for outlaws, assholes, and hypocrites. Jones Cabin. Good place to practice some shooting. What the heck are you doing? This is private property. Okay, okay, easy.
I'm here to see the one person on earth who ever gave a damn about me. My ma. Other than my stepfather, there's three some bitches in particular I hope to avoid. Tim Powell, our sheriff, who always thought I was up to no good, even when I wasn't. Clyde Forrester, owner of the Grand Saloon and meanest peckerhead you ever seen. Then there's the biggest bastard of them all, my stepfather's brother, Reverend Ray, the most self-righteous son of a bitch who ever picked up a Bible. My, my. Billy Candle. Been a long time, boy. Sheriff. I don't think Thomas will be too pleased to see you. You come back to set things right with him? I'm just here to see my ma. Well, before you go out there, I think you better give me your gun. Hand it over. But, Sheriff. Drop it, boy. Fine. Welcome back. Just don't do anything stupid, son. I'm not your son. Thank God for that, boy. Thank God for that. I just got to town and the sheriff's already on my ass. Son of a bitch. Damn, I gotta get myself a gun. Look at those hombres. They look like trouble. Well, Billy Candle, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Susie, she keeps a gun in her drawers. I'm pissed at you, Billy. Here in town and you don't come to see your old friend Susie? Hey, I just got in. I was planning on coming by. <laughs> yeah, right. Billy's planning things now. Get your skinny butt up here before I change my mind. So far, so good. Don't see no sign of that SOB Forrester. Uh-oh. Billy the Spick. Where you think you're going, boy? Hope you don't think you're getting lucky. Not unless you've got some money. Relax, Clyde. I'm just here to say hello. Your balls will be saying hello to my boot in a second, boy. You want a piece of Susie, you gotta pay, muchacho. Busted, huh? Should have known. Thought you were gonna find the gold of Juarez. Well, maybe you can find a rope to get your ass through this window. But don't raise a ruckus. I must be out of my mind. This whip will do just fine. <laughs> Uh. 
Huh, Susie? Shh. Wait here. I'll be back in a minute. I want to make sure Clyde is occupied. In the meantime, why don't you wash off some of that trail dust? All right. Where the hell's that Derringer? <laughs> it's not loaded. Damn it, Susie, where do you keep the bullets? Glad's occupied with Joanne, so we got some time to get reacquainted. But, but we best keep our voices down, darling. So you never found the family jewels? Maybe I can help. Oh my, you have grown. Thought I heard you in here. You got an itch that needs scratching, boy? How about you let old Clyde take care of it? Taste of that little trollop. He's here. We found you! 